Ed and Dzeko is one of the most underrated players of all time. The silent goal scoring machine is bound to surpass 400 career goals and is Bosnia's all time leading goal scorer by a long shot. Although he may not be the flashiest player, Edin has been one of the most consistent strikers even at the age of 37, and he has won many trophies with numerous different clubs, including Manchester City, Inter Milan, and Wolfsburg. Not many talk about his story and importance to football, but this video aims to change that. Born in Sarajevo, Yugoslavia, well, it's now Bosnia, on the 17th of March in 1986, Edin loved football from a young age. He started his career with his boyhood club Zeljo in Bosnia, and at the age of 17, he would be called up to the first team. He would originally play as a midfielder, but he found little to no success in this position, as he was regarded as too tall, and there were even doubts about his technical abilities. His coach at the time advised the team in the second division of the Czech Republic to buy him for 80,000 euros. He would be transferred to Teplice, where one of the directors of his boyhood club had even later stated, we thought we had won the lottery. In the 06-07 season, Dzeko would score 13 goals and have 3 assists in 30 appearances for Teplis, which prompted German Bundesliga side Wolfsburg to take a gamble on him and buy him for 4 million euros. This was Dzeko's time to prove himself, and in his first season with Wolfsburg, he would score 9 and assist 7 in 33 appearances. Not bad for his first season in a top 5 league. However, in the following season is where we would see Dzeko become a star. In 42 appearances, he would score 36 times and assist a further 12 goals. He led Wolfsburg to their first and only Bundesliga title, picking up the top scorer in the league with 22 goals on the way to this miraculous achievement. He would spend another year and a half at Wolfsburg, where he would continue his dominant ways, scoring 29 and assisting 13. Although he had finished the season trophyless, he would be the star of the team. He would play with Wolfsburg until the winter of 2010, where it was clear that Wolfsburg couldn't hold on to the star much longer. That's when Manchester City came knocking on the door of the German club and gave them an offer they couldn't refuse. 37 million euros. He would break the transfer record for the Bundesliga at the time, and he would pack his bags and head to Manchester. His time at City was his most successful trophy-wise. He would conquer England, winning two Premier Leagues, an FA Cup, a League Cup, and the Community Shield. Although his role would be diminished and he wouldn't be the main man up top, he would still record good stats for the club. Over 189 games for City, he would score 72 and have 30 assists. After five seasons with City, he would desire a new challenge and find himself heading to Serie A side Roma. In Roma, he wouldn't really hit the ground running. In 1516, he would record 10 goals and 4 assists in 39 appearances, which isn't bad by any means, but it wasn't the star we knew he could be. But in the following season is what I would regard his absolute peak. He popped off this season, being the top scorer in not only the Europa League, but the Serie A as well, bagging 39 goals and 14 assists in 51 appearances. And although he went trophyless, he became the first ever Bosnian to be nominated for the Ballon d'Or. In the 17-18 season, he would bring Roma to one of their most successful campaigns in recent history, reaching the Champions League semi-final for the first time in 30 years. Facing Liverpool in the semi-final, he wouldn't go out without a fight. He scored in both legs, but unfortunately, it wouldn't be enough, and they would lose 6-7 on aggregate. The following season would bring another trophyless campaign, but he would still break records becoming the first ever Bosnian to score a hat-trick in the Champions League against Victoria Plzen in the group stage. What never changed about Dzeko was his consistency, once again scoring 14 and assisting 10 in 40 appearances in the club. He showed that he not only could score, but he also had a knack for assisting as well. The 2019-2020 season would once again bear no silverware for our Bosnian, but his personal performances would once again shine. He would turn it up a notch, scoring 19 and assisting a further 14 in 43 appearances. Roma would be the club where he would have the most appearances with, recording 260 appearances. This would be the final season for them, and he would transfer to Inter Milan for a fee of 2.8 million euros. His time at Inter Milan would be a success, winning four trophies in total, two Italian Cups as well as two Italian Super Cups. 
In his first season, he would record 17 goals and 10 assists, once again hitting the double digits for goals and assists. Excellent for someone who was 35 at the time. His next season would be his most important one. Already achieving the cup double with Inter, Eden would set his sights for the treble, heading all the way to the Champions League final. He would start in this match, and although he was subbed off in the 57th minute, it wouldn't matter, as they would lose 1-0 to his old club, Manchester City. Although his role would be reduced, he would keep his consistent ways, scoring 14 and assisting 5 in 52 appearances. A 37-year-old Eden's time was up with Inter. In the current season of 23-24, he would be transferred to Turkish club Fenerbahce. A 37-year-old Eden would show his class by scoring a brace in the Super League debut. So far, in 8 matches in the Super League, he has recorded 6 goals and 2 assists leading his team as the captain and winning every single game this season. The goal is clear for Eden and Fenerbahce to be Turkish league champions. In his national team career, he's regarded as a national hero. In 131 caps, he has scored an impressive 65, being the country's all-time leading goal scorer. The difference between him and second place is a whopping 37 goals. This basically guarantees he's going to hold the record for a very long time. He would even bring Bosnia to their first and only ever major tournament in 2014 where he would make it to the World Cup. Sadly, they wouldn't make it past the group stage, but still, it was a massive achievement for Bosnia. From growing up in a war zone to being a national hero, one thing is certain. He doesn't get the respect and attention he deserves. So, what do you guys think of Edin Dzeko? How good do you think he is? Let me know in the comments down below and please like this video as well as subscribe for more videos like this one.